Hello, this is a short video from Zadara Storage covering the initial registration with the Zadara system. So for the public cloud, uh, which is connected to Amazon and other computing providers, our main console is at, handled at manage.zadarastorage.com. At this site, when you initially um, connect to it, you're presented with a page similar to this asking for your initial login, uh, email address and password. If you have never registered with Zadara Storage uh, first, uh, there is a link here marked register. And this asks you for your username, uh, your preferred username, email address, preferred password, and additional contact information. And when you put this in, in our public uh, cloud, shortly after that, one of our salespeople will contact you. And, uh, and you'll get an email address asking you to confirm this. Once you have initially registered, uh, you are then presented with a console that looks like, sort of like this. This is the VPSA management console. And this lists all of your VPSAs, that is virtual private storage arrays that you have available. And from this console, you can either create a VPSA or with your, one of your existing VPSAs, here's one that I've created here, you can change the engine size uh, from a baby engine to a larger capacity engine or even down to a smaller capacity engine. Uh, you can add additional drives to that. And so for this particular one, I've got three drives. I can go ahead and add an additional two drives, for instance. And you can also adjust the amount of cache that the uh, VPSA actually has. Okay. So for creating your VPSA, that's the thing most people will be using here, you would initially go to the Create VPSA button. So my testing VPSA, and as you can tell, I do a, uh, a lot of tests in here. Uh, test for example video and from here you can choose the cloud provider that you would uh, prefer to use and as you can see we've got a number of providers here we're concentrating on Amazon Web Services AWS you can choose a different location for your VPSA to be created here and for Amazon we're in most of the Amazon locations around the world and we're immediately adjacent to them. So in this case, I can create it in our East 2 location. This is adjacent to Amazon East. I can select the size of the engine, and this takes into account the number of CPUs, the amount of RAM that you want to attach to it. So from here, we can choose a two CPU model, a four, six, eight, 10, even a 16 CPU model. The larger the number of CPUs, uh, the more responsive the VPSA is. So for this one, I'll just choose a baby engine, and then I can choose a the amount, number of drives that I want to attach to it. So if I go for, here's four drives that I want to do it, the five terabyte uh, repositories, um, that's it. And then I can just go ahead and hit submit. And it asks for confirmation. That's all it is in creating your VPSA. Once you put in that VPSA creation request, that is then sent to the Zadara storage team. Uh, we will then contact you uh, relating the next part of the process, which is getting yourself connected.